Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your star Scentsy consultant. So today what I have for you is my bi-monthly club haul, and I added a lot of extra goodies here because I wanted to simplify my own shipments for the month. So there are a lot of bars that I'm not going to be carrying forward in my club that I also added to this. And of course, then after our Sensepirations collection launched, I did do another smaller order, but... This is the lion's share of the wax and everything else I'm going to be getting for the month, so let's dive right on in. And first off, I do want to say, if you don't know anything about Scentsy Club, it is our subscription service. My website is always open to start new clubs. It is the perfect place to do what's called Always Get My Bar. That is the only thing that Scentsy promises to you with our club subscriptions that you can get forever and forever is whatever Scentsy bar you can put in there while it is available for a limited time offer or a catalog season. They will keep it as long as you don't edit it out for forever and forever in your club. And that is such an amazing perk. Now you can also get discounts. If you have $60 US or more in a club, then you can get a half off item. And I usually will use that for something larger, such as this tub of washer whiffs, which is $30 US. But if you get it in that half off item slot, it's 15. Or I also have gotten more into, as in the fall, I am using a lot of element warmers that have the fancy lids and they're kind of fuzzy more of our cotton cleanups where you just drop it into the hot wax and it soaks it all up and you don't have to fuss with changing it in other ways. Because most of the time I'll change dishes like that cold and just take all the dishes out, take them to the sink and use a butter knife and pop everything out. But some of the element warmers do not work out that way and they have the funny shapes so it's easier just to plop the little cotton cleanup for $10 a bag, that's the thing. I would prefer to save a little bit of money and use more of my change on my wax than just on the cotton cleanups, but you could use those as your half off item and then it's only five bucks for the pack. So I am rambling. You can do three different subscription frequencies. You can have two of those, you can have all three. You can have this subscription come to you every month. You can start another one that would come bi-monthly, which is what this is for me. You can have another one that's quarterly, so it would come to you four times a year unless you use a skip. And here's one more thing. You can skip each of those frequencies once within a 12-month calendar year. You've got to do it correctly, and there will be a warning on the screen if you're going to lose bars if you skip it at the wrong time of the year. So some people like to carry just a monthly club because they get all the consumables. That is the one catch with club. You can't order a warmer or something that would be a one-time purchase. You can order anything, though, that is consumable, meaning that you can use it up and get more of it. So you've got monthly. Some people like to get certain bars every month and not worry about actually going on the regular website and thinking about what they're ordering. Some people, like me, save a lot of bakery bars. They want it every couple months. And then quarterly clubs, depending on the person. For me, my quarterly club is pretty much for seasonal items seasonal bars mostly that I may want those just around Christmas or maybe just in the middle of the summer so I have fewer number of them and it comes at a lower frequency so hopefully those things are helpful and again my website is waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us where you can start a club with me anytime having club people is one of my favorite favorite things so that's enough about the program let's show you what's in my Sensi club this month there were so many bars that the regular size box didn't even fit them all. So Tiara and Coconut is one that I have quite the stack of now, and I'm probably going to have to make some hard decisions when the next Bring Back My Bar round comes, you guys. The January Bring Back My Bar round has the most unusual bars that many of us have never seen or smelled ever, because a lot of them are older, that I've ever seen, and I am so excited but I'm worried about my club. I'm going to have to make some pretty drastic cuts, I think, for some of these fabulous new bars that are old that I've never experienced before. Anyway, Tarian Coconut is one of those where I love it, but I only melt it for a short period in the summer. And I have quite the stack growing in the basement, but it's one of those things where this was a limited time offer, a couple of uh, not Christmases. Everything is Christmas on my brain at this point in November. A couple of summers ago, and I really doubt I'll ever see this scent again. So that's the agony of club. If there's something really special that you save for forever and forever, but your club gets too big, what do you cut and not regret too much? So this tiara and coconut is the most wonderful floral summer suntan scent I think ever invented, which is why it's still in my club. It's very strong. 
It has a wonderful smooth coconut and that great white floral scent that is unique and I love it. So another one that's in my club, and this will be staying, is Buckleberry. This is a scent that when I started with Scentsy over a decade ago, this was just in the catalog and it was pretty much readily available. And I thought it was nice, but it wasn't anything super, super exciting. Or if it wasn't in catalog, it was in Bring Back My Bar a lot. It's a really good, sweet, tart berry scent with a little sprinkling of cinnamon sugar coffee cake way in the distance. So the fact that they call it Buckleberry and in the description it's supposed to really have a lot of bakery, it doesn't, but it's my favorite berry smell because it's saturated and has those nuances of like cinnamon and bakery in the background and it mixes beautifully with all sorts of very hardcore bakery, which is what I have a lot of in this particular club. My quarterly club has a lot more of the seasonal items as I already said. So I have two bars bi-monthly of the beloved apple butter frosting. This is a bar we have to get voted back. I cannot believe I have not seen this anywhere to be able to get your hands on since they pulled it from the catalog, what, two to three seasons ago now, spring, summer. Oh, you guys, when this was available, I think it was kind of a sleeper for too many people and you didn't know how good it was. It is this frosting with creamy apple butter and spices. It is so decadent. It is so powerful, strong, and long lasting. One of the best bars since he's ever invented, and that is why I keep two of these bi-monthly in my club, and that way I never run out of enough. Now here's another bar, kind of like the tiara and coconut. I really like it, but I don't use it a lot, so which one do I potentially give the boot when other things that I know I'll like more come along? This is Vitamin R Relax, but again, you'll never see this bar again. It was in a limited time offer from the Vitamin Collection early spring to season rotations ago, I think, late winter, early spring. Beautiful bar. This has like vanilla sugar and sandalwood and amber, maybe a little bit of bergamot. It is so sophisticated. It's a very good scent for that off season between winter and early spring. And it just makes your home relaxed and cozy. And it's a little bit like Satin Sheets, which is also not available anymore. It's a little bit like Hendrix, but that's much stronger. It's a little bit like a lot of things, but yet it's its own thing. And that's why I keep it in my club. Another one, which I think is definitely going to be staying, is Southern Evening. Now, here is a bar. I have one customer, dear woman. This is the only bar she loves. And she didn't connect with me until way after this was available in the last Bring Back My Bar owned, And I feel so bad for her because this may never come back again. I don't know. And it's in my club for forever and forever. It is the most unique scent. It's deep, it's rich, it's got geranium, it's got, oh gosh, lavender, it has dusky fruits, it is it is so unique, and it is loveliness in a bar, and I love to melt this one spring, summer, especially when I'm just in a mood where I want something that's just different, and that is one of the few bars where you can melt that for two or three days, and every day it smells somewhat different. It's really cool. Now here's one I may have to eventually just say, okay, I'm done carrying this in my club, and that is Bora Bora Blossom. I love it. But again, I don't melt enough of this to justify keeping everything in my club. Oh, but it's so good though. This is a tropical kind of orchid and island fruits and lush palm tree, creamy, lovely scent. Very Hawaii-like, and I just think this is the best of this type. Aloha Orchid from last summer. If they bring that back in the catalog next spring, summer, I might get rid of this because they're similar enough. But yet, even when I did Wax War with these two, kind of comparing them, I like Bora Bora Blossom better, so I know I'm gonna kick myself in the rear end down the road when I run out. Here's another one, Mandarin Moon. Now, if you guys cannot get your hands on Mandarin Moon, but you want an orange spice scent, the orange spice and everything nice that's in our Brick collection, the cool ones that are shaped like Christmas trees, it's sweeter and not as spicy as Mandarin Moon, but it will kind of give you the same thing if you're craving orange spice. But oh, Mandarin Moon's probably the best in its class, really. It's so good. It's more fall. The one that I'm talking about this current is definitely more Christmassy. But this has all that fall spice with beautiful sweet orange in the background. It's good and strong. And it is one that I enjoy melting and my younger daughter loves it even more than me. So that one will probably stay for forever. Here's one that did not come back for this fall winter. And I'm so glad it's in my club. And that is Dancing Sugar Plums. This is a beautiful bar. Medium level, gentle simmering spices, apples and plums. 
and mostly plums. And it doesn't have the heavy bakery quality that Rum Pum Plum has. That's current in our five bar holiday bundle. And you can get them separately or you can get the little gift bag and the five bars. Rum Pum Plum is really good and it has the sweet jammy quality that this has with just all the crust notes. So if you miss Dancing Sugar Plums, try that. But man, is this good, you guys. And I love doing this in alternate warmers with St. Nicodoodle, which is also in this club. Another one which many of you wish you had, I know, is Vanilla Waves. Now, this was a shocker that got pulled from the catalog a couple years ago, spring, summer. And it was so popular, we really didn't expect it to go away like it did. Oh, this is an intense bar. This is good any time of the year, but it's more of a spring, summer scent. It is vanilla ice cream, super heavy caramel with a little bit of salt and seaside. It is fabulous. Great throw, good mixer, really, really good bar. That is Vanilla Waves. The next one is going to be Simply Vanilla. Now, personally, if I had to pick between the two, I would keep Simply Vanilla because it's an all year round scent, but my daughter, <laughs> she would pick Vanilla Waves. So Simply Vanilla is the most elegant, tailored, beautiful, plain vanilla scent we've ever done. Vanilla Cream, which is very similar, is in my quarterly. And if I had to choose between Simply Vanilla and Vanilla Cream, I think Vanilla Cream throws better. But other than that, they're virtually the same bar. Simply Vanilla is just a little bit more floral, a little bit more elegant, and it is a fantastic smell. Good any time of the year. Here's one which I may just break out uh, melting today or tomorrow. Butter Pecan. This was an October scent of the month several years ago. At one point they called it the flagship fragrance of fall. Well, at this point, I don't think it's flagship anything anymore because they pulled it from the catalog the same time that they did Almond Croissant and Apple Butter Frosting. They killed all three in the same season. The nerve, you know, Sensi? Sometimes I just don't understand. And these are all the ones that are in here that are kind of in this grouping of bakery bars. What I would consider Sensi's golden period for bakery. We need to get back to that, Sensi, because what you're producing now, some of them are good, but the power and the strength of butter pecan, almond croissant, apple butter frosting, um, sweet plum pastry, which is not in here, that's in my quarterly, those were the best of the best of the bakery bar. Stroop Waffle Delight, that's in my quarterly. That was when you guys did amazing things, and if you watch this video, please bring back bakery bars that perform like those did. Those were incredible. Anyway, okay, speaking of almond croissant, this might be one of the strongest bakery bars that Sensi's ever produced that also has longevity. Oh, this is so good, you guys. It is the flakiest almond croissant with a little sprinkling of cinnamon sugar. It is delectable, and it goes and goes and goes. It throws like a beast. It's fabulous. Some of you just got that in one of your mystery bundles, and there will be one more of those this coming Friday. One more festive Friday sale with another chance to do the 10 bar $40 mystery bundle and who knows what else. And people have been very happy this time with their mystery bundles. So I would definitely encourage you to get on my website or your consultant's website and do that this Friday, the 17th of November. It'll start one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Fun, fun sale with great bars. I was watching somebody else who had gotten a delivery of those because as you can see, I'm buried in bars and I really don't know that I need a mystery bundle of a lot of things that I have in my club already. She got Gone Campin', which is like my least favorite bar ever, but it's what allowed me to meet my now director because I hated it so much that I called the woman that I got it from, totally like didn't know her or anything. We struck up a friendship and she is now my beloved director. So hello, Jennifer, love you. So Lemon Coconut Chiffon. This one may be on the bubble, I don't know. It's so good though. And here's another one where I may only melt this a little bit spring, summer, but it is the most decadent. And this is like old school bakery. This is even back before my time with Sensi. Lemon with coconut and beautiful ooey gooey butter cake. You guys, what is not to love about this? It's so good. Mm. The next one is Sticky Cinnamon Bun. Now, right now, we still carry Frosted Cinnamon Roll, which is, I think, the best bakery that we've produced recently with Scentsy. It is more rounded and gentle, more like our um, Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl than this, which is really old school, super heavy on the cinnamon. I love this one in the middle of the winter. This is like super, super strong, sweet cinnamon with vanilla. Not so much sticky cinnamon bun as it is just sticky cinnamon. 
Mm, I love it. It's like curl your nose hair is kind of cinnamon and it's totally right up my alley. Fabulous. But if you don't want that kind of strength and you don't have it in your club, frosted cinnamon roll is a lot better behaved. I think I actually have one more bar of that in here because like I said, I threw extra bars in here beyond my club shipment this time. It's so good. So here's another one. The three thumbs up bar. This is the most wonderful bakery bar. They just got rid of this, I think at the turn of November 1st. This was an LTO that went with the Haunted Mansion promotions back in August. Oh, you guys, this is like pumpkin quick bread with some cream cheese frosting. This makes my home smell amazing. It goes for a long time and it is medium level, medium strength. I had three of these, I think, in this shipment and then I just dropped it down to one by monthly. This is similar in the way it makes my home smell to apple butter frosting. It's not as sweet and it's not as strong, but when I don't want quite apple butter frosting, but I want homey and cuddly, this is my bar. It's so good. Okay, now here's one. I did have to make some decisions and some cuts. There's so much stuff in my bi-monthly club. Blue Coconut Beach and Ocean Air and Coconut Water are in here. Between the two of them, I have like a stack of eight or nine of both, and I made a decision, a very difficult decision, to cut Blue Coconut Beach. I know, don't get mad at me if you know how much I've been raving about it over the last summer, but I like the coconut air and or coconut air, ocean air and coconut water even better. And I think possibly, I could be wrong, this might come back in our spring summer catalog and I'm almost positive ocean air and coconut water won't. But oh man, this is creamy coconut and like a lotion. It is so good, you guys. I have enough of this between those two scents to keep me good in uh, tropical coconutty goodness for quite a while. And then the other thing that pushed my decision that direction was that Pacific Daydream was available this last festive Friday, which is now over with, in this six bar mix and match bundle. And most of you probably don't even know what Pacific Daydream is. It is an ancient bar from way back in the day, uh, what, an April or May scent of the month from like 10 years ago. And I loved that bar and it's beautiful. It's not as coconutty, but it's got all that fresh water and pineapple and stuff. So I ordered several of those in one of those mystery six packs that I got on Monday when I also got my Sensperations bars, cause boy, did I like the cider and the wreath and I loaded up on them. And now I'm gonna have all these different oceany and coconutty blue bars. And even for me, who goes through a lot of wax, how many things can you keep in your club? I've got Atlantic Air in here too. So Blue Coconut Beach, I thought it had the best chance of maybe coming back, so I took that out. Hope I don't regret that decision. The next one here is Caramel Chestnut. Now, I've got way more Caramel Chestnut than is practical because I've got bricks and I've got bars in my club, but it's so good. I mean, what's not to love about ooey, gooey, caramel, and chestnuts? All November, all December, like this and butter pecan, I should probably melt these tomorrow both. Mm, in different rooms. It's so good. It's roasty toasty and yet it's golden and gooey. It's an amazing, amazing scent. I got another three thumbs up. I have another three thumbs up. I really love doing these where I just pull it out of the box and I can't tell. Toasted acorn and oak. Now, if I had to choose between toasted acorn and oak and caramel chestnut, it would be really difficult, but I might pick the toasted acorn and oak. This is slightly roastier. They're both sweet with a really nice nuttiness, but the toasted acorn and oak is slightly woodsier. It goes with a lot of things. So beautiful, you guys. So this is another one that they pulled from the catalog. Originally, this was Harvest Trio a few years ago, and that is a favorite of mine. Now, speaking of roasty, toasty, and deep, maple rum cake. Now, listen to me. If I had to pick between toasted acorn and oak, caramel chestnut, and maple rum cake, maple rum cake would win. This is deep, dark, beautiful spice cake with butter drum. Oh, I love this bar. And the depth of it is like nothing else since he's ever done in bakery. It's one of my favorites. It doesn't smell all that good on cold. It sort of smells like a damp, wet cigar. But you put it in the warmer and oh my gosh, you guys, it comes to life. I hope that this comes back in something at some point. It'll stay in my club for forever. And it is one of probably my top 25 of all time by Scentsy. All right, the next one is Cranberry Muffin. And this one, I am going to keep it. I just melted a bar of it two days ago. This is the most wonderful, light, fluffy, orange, almost like cranberry vanilla cake batter type muffin. Oh, it's delicious, you guys. And it's kind of floaty and happy and fluffy. Really, it's so much like that orange and cranberry quick bread that you make right around Thanksgiving. 
fantastic bar. This was Bring Back My Bar a couple rounds ago, and I'm so happy I have it. So now, I have never seen this packaging before of The Nightmare Before Christmas. I think this is the really fancy packaging, Jack's Obsession. And this I'm going to keep at one bar, probably in my quarterly club. I have to go check that. Oh, you guys, the smell of this and the really wonderful, funny color with the very nice green apple cider with a hint of clove. It's fantastic. You can melt that anywhere between like August and December. It is beautiful, even though I'm not into the movie and I don't support like that Halloween thing is not something I do, but I love that smell. Okay, perk me up. Now here's one where a lot of you are kind of like rolling your eyes like, why do you still have that in your club, Elizabeth? Well, because since he doesn't do any decent coffee and this one is a good mixer, so I keep it. So it's just like medium level Colombian roast coffee with a little bit of milk and sugar in it. And it's really good with caramel anything. So that's why I keep perk me up and it's just a nice middle of the road scent. Now here is a unique smell, love and happiness. This is chestnuts and vanilla and sort of like a, a powdery base. It sounds really strange, but this is so good and kind of like vitamin R relax. I like this midwinter, early spring because it's, it's really warm, but it doesn't feel like Christmas. It doesn't even really feel like fall but it just hits that weird time of the year, that transitional time of the year where I don't know what to melt and it brings me comfort, it's so good. I like pretty much anything with chestnut in it if you aren't seeing the uh, theme here. Saint Knickerdoodle, this was Sense of the Season last year and you guys, it is so good. This year's Sense of the Season is excellent too, but oh man, apple strudel with powdered sugar. Frankenmuth is about 30 minutes north of us. This smells like walking through the hallways while they're baking all the wonderful apple strudels. And it is delicious. And like I said, dancing sugar plums in this alternate warmers match made in heaven. Or mix that one to one with, um, with apple butter frosting. And even though they're both like fabulous on their own, it makes an incredible mix. That's what I'll be doing around Christmas time. Churro churro. Now this was recently in Bring Back My Bar and I hope you guys got some. This is the best greasy fried churro cinnamon sugar scent. It is decadent and delicious. It's so vanilla and rich and it's a very summery smell. It's so good. Like it's lighter bakery when you're, you don't want the super heavy stuff because it's hot outside, you can still melt that. It's so good. All right, the next one here is vanilla cinnamon maple. This is my basement smell. This is so cuddly. And honestly, one of the very first videos I ever did Starting my YouTube channel was a holiday haul where this was one of the bricks. And the first thing I thought of when I smelled this brick for the first time was popcorn balls. And over time, I sort of walked that back. But as I've melted this for a couple years now, it does. It smells like the base of making popcorn balls. And it's got all this beautiful vanilla. It's got the maple. It's just a happy, gentle scent. Good any time of the year, really. And excellent in the fall and the winter. Really, really nice. Another one that we have here, now I did pull this. Autumn Stroll is very nice, but as my bars have sat and cured, they got so strong, I have a few, I'm good. This is a very old scent with patchouli and like dusky plum and heavy autumn leaves. The other reason that I pulled this is I'm putting cashmere leaves in its place, which is sweeter. It's a kind of updated take on the idea of fall leaves and spice. And this one, I will enjoy, I think I have two or three bars left. I will enjoy these, but only a cube or two at a time, whereas the cashmere leaves with the sweetness of the apple and the cinnamon sugar, along with the spices and the leaves, it's more user-friendly. And so that is why I took that out. The next one here is vanilla bourbon. And my daughter, my younger daughter loves this. This is a very interesting scent. It's good for a bedroom if you want something that's sort of vanilla with a touch of nutmeg and the bourbon. You can do this in a medium sized room, but you really can't do a large space with this. It's a really nice, warm, gentle scent. It would also be very good in alternate warmers with something that's just a plain vanilla. This started out actually as Father's Day, which is kind of weird to me because it really seems like an early fall scent in my opinion. Okay, now I got a couple, I think, of these Under the Oak Tree and Hometown Cowboy from the recent release of like the Weathered Leather Mix It Up collection, which was called open plains i believe i love this bar and i love the hometown cowboy I didn't care for the other two as much but under the oak tree it's the most beautiful oh, like suede cologne and apples and it's so tailored and sophisticated 
perfect any time of the year, but August and September especially. And my older daughter liked this. So this one is staying in the club probably for a long time because I think it's kind of unique. It's masculine without being aggressively colonial. It's very good. Another one is, now this I just threw in because I wanted a couple more bars. Winterberry apple tea. This is current in the catalog. I'm not going to need to keep this for forever and forever. And this is one I used to not like. But it's grown on me. And I love this in alternate warmers with the new Make Me Snickerdoodle, which by itself isn't my favorite bar, but I love it with this one. You could probably mix them, but I did alternate warmers because the cranberry, the apple, the tea, and the spice in this is pretty assertive. And then there's just a little bit of kind of a deeper cinnamon sugar spice. It's not super sweet in the Make Me Snickerdoodle, and these two are fantastic as a pairing. Very, very good. Next one I've got here is Frosted Cinnamon Roll. See, I told you I threw one in. This is so good, you guys. It's just middle of the road. It's got the frosting. It's got the cinnamon. It's got the sugar. It's sweet, it's gentle, it's super homey. And if you need a bakery bar that you can just put in club and keep for a long time, I really, really, really think this is the one to choose right now out of what we have available. It's better than anything that's in the catalog except baked apple pie, but that has apple. This is a good all-purpose bakery spice scent and it's soft, so nice. The next one here is Forever Fall. Now this, I think I'm gonna put this in my quarterly for the long haul, but I'm clubbing this. This is a guilty pleasure bar though. I think people either love or hate this. This is current in our Harvest 5 bar bundle and so is Cashmere Leaves, which I don't even know if I have a bar of Cashmere Leaves in here, but that's really good if you haven't tried that yet before it goes away. Ah, oh, this is the deepest gooey brown sugar and pumpkin smell. Almost like unbaked pumpkin in a bowl. It's almost a little bit too squashy, but I love it. I do not know what it is about this. Like I said, it's a guilty pleasure. This is so good, you guys. I love it. All right, the next one is Atlantic Air. Like I said, now this is a beautiful, elegant summer smell. They pulled it from the catalog. It is salty sea air and ocean water and a little bit of orchid. And it is so nice. I think this one's safely going to be staying for a while longer. If I get a stack of 10 or 12 of these and I haven't melted any, maybe I'll pull it, but I'm not there yet. This is a great bar, and I am sad that that's no longer available except in my book. Okay, now here is a good, happy update on a little bit of a struggling situation for me and one of our new release bars from this, spring, this uh, fall winter. Frosted Cedar. I wanted to like this. Melted my whole first bar. Thought it kind of smelled like grass. Wasn't sure if I was going to be into it, but I wanted to be into it because everybody else loved it. It's cedar, apple, and vanilla. And I said, maybe when it gets cold, I'll like it better. And when I put up my tree in the back room and we had our first cold day, I melted a bar of frosted cedar back there. And the skies opened and the light rays came down and the angels sang. This is really nice. Now, is it at the top of all the new releases for me? Is it going to make it in my like top three of this, this uh, season? No, but I really enjoy it. And now I think I'm smelling what I was supposed to smell, which is this beautiful blend of apples and vanilla with a cedary woodsy base. It's really good. So I got three of those to enjoy happily for the rest of the Christmas season. I'll probably melt that one next week. Then I have another one of Under the Oak Tree. Told you, I really loaded up on a few of these things. Another frosted cedar. A Dutch apple bread. Now, I do not like this bar, but I told you, I will try one more time. Just like with the frosted cedar, you never know. Sometimes the change in weather will change the bar. I don't know though. <laughs> this one still has that funky note. Not as funky as the first bar though. Hmm. I will melt this again because the last thing I want to do is pass up on a good bakery bar that I just didn't like it in August and now it's wonderful. That's happened with several things with me in the last year or so, so I'm more cautious. I will melt another one of Dutch apple bread before I give up. It is, in the beginning, my initial melt with this was like there was this funky off note that I'm not getting as much of in this bar that made it smell a little bit sour. I wanted like a sweet cinnamon sugar apple and that is not what I got. I got more of a bread but bread that I didn't like and sour apples. So anyway, I don't know. I'm going to try this one more time. We'll see how it goes. I will put that into what I've been warming in the next couple weeks and we'll see. The next one here is pumpkin cashmere. Now I really like this smell. It just doesn't throw very well. 
So I'm trying to slowly get a stack before it goes away. This is the October scent of the month this year. I don't want to club this, but I do want more. Mm, it's so pretty. It's got like a pine coat and cashmere quality and the pumpkin. If it threw really well, i put it in my club. It's just hard to smell outside of small spaces. Next we have, ooh, Bonfire Beach. This is in my club because this should come back next spring, summer, but if it doesn't, we will all cry. This is one of the most wonderful scents. For spring, summer, it's like ocean sea spray, marshmallows, a little bit of uh, smoky like bonfire. It's really good, very complex. Honestly, this and Dashing, they do have some similarities and I could melt both of those even now, even in November, they are fantastic. Dashing is the fall winter smell that's got similar profile. Hometown Cowboy, now here's the other one from that Open Plains collection that my husband, like he loves this. This is one of his favorite new things that's come down the pike. And it is so good. We both love White Amber Antique, which is in the catalog. This is similar, but a little bit more leather and cologne. It is a subtle, sophisticated cowboy cologne. It's so good, you guys. I love it. And so does Gregory. So that will be probably going in the quarterly club for the long haul, but it's going to go in one of them. More frosted cedar. Okay, now here, these are the two in the Sense of the Season collection. There are five bars that are available. You can get the really cute gift wrap packaging thing of the five, or you can mix and match them in regular six packs or by themselves. Frosted White Pine and Caramel Praline Cake are the newcomers. We also have Sugar Plum Berry, Homestead Holiday, which if you don't get any other bar for Christmas, get Homestead Holiday, and Peppermint Rush, which we're not gonna talk about. And <laughs> Frosted White Pine, I was okay with my first melt, then I melted the whole rest of the bar and I loved it. Oh, it's so good, you guys. It's a beautiful, truly outdoorsy pine, clean winter air smell. So it's heavier on the pine than the winter air, but it's lighter than our old iced pine. Since it's only in sense of the season, I don't need to club this. I have some other bars that I love that are more like pine, balsam, and evergreen that I do keep in club, but I wanted more of this. So I think I got two or three in, in this haul really nice the most outdoorsy woodsy evergreen that we're going to offer this season as far as i know and then caramel praline cake you guys have seen me ride the up and down waves of excitement and disappointment with this bar it's so good it reminds me of almond croissant with more of like a caramel toffee quality but it's softer but it hasn't thrown super well in the room we're gonna try a few more if it passes the test as it sat for a couple months and maybe got medium strength i will club this it is really, really good. So it's like you take maybe Caramel Vanilla Delight from way back in the day and Almond Croissant, put them together and then soften it. That's this. So it's delicious. It just hasn't performed the way all of us were hoping it would. If it would, if this would throw like Almond Croissant, this would be a rock star bar. So I'm hoping to baby it along so it gets closer to that. The next one here is Hemingway. Now this is staying in my club for forever. It's so nice, you guys. Now this is heavy on the apple, where that under the oak tree is more woody and, and a little bit of cologne. This is apple with spices and a little bit of manly cologne. It's so good. And then mix this with Midnight Mahogany, which is one of our new releases, like one to one cube in a warmer. Fabulous, so nice. I really enjoy that. Another one here is Luna. Now this is just because I found out my younger daughter loves Luna, especially if she has a headache, which unfortunately she gets more often than some kids. This is one of those bars that is a classic. It's an eternal Scentsy classic. It's nice. I got it for her. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Sweet pea, berries, very gentle, very demure. To me, really boring, but she likes that one. And Sleigh Ride. Okay, this bar is one of my top five of all the new releases from all of our fall winter offerings. It is so good, you guys. If you miss farmhouse fur, I'm not saying that they smell the same, but this has the sweetness and the softness, different scent profile, but that sweetness and softness that farmhouse fur has. But this is like fir tree and then it's got what, cranberry and cherry? It's at least got cranberry. Oh, it's woodsy and it's sweet and it's, oh, it's so good. It is so good. Not quite as emotional for me as Sweet Orange Pomander, which is safely in my quarterly club and I've got a stack of it. But of all the things this year that have tree, this is my bar. 
love it. Love it, love it. You've got to get some. The next one here is Mint to be Merry. Now, this is the current November scent of the month. This is for my mom, actually, this far. It's super happy. It's like butter cookie and mint, and it's like sassy and perky and, and just, just happiness. My mother never asks for a second bar of anything. She came back two days after she got her first sample bar of this for me and needed more. That is a record. We will be supplying grandma with all the mint to be merry that she wants all season long. The next one here is more frosted white pine. This is so nice, you guys. Really, really nice. It's like this has that outdoorsy bite. It is so good. Okay. What else? I told you this was going to be a big long haul. Cocoa Lime. Now, this is in my quarter. No, my, this is my bi monthly, right? Too many bars, too many different clubs. This is in my bi monthly club until we see the new spring summer catalog. I sure hope it's back. I don't really want to carry it, but it is my favorite spring summer bar. Truly, it's so good with the lemon lime and the creamy coconut. It's just happiness in a bar. And if they didn't bring this back, I'd be so sad. So I just club it for safekeeping. Hoping to be able to boot it right out when I see the next catalog. More Sleigh Ride. I'm telling you guys, that is just, it is the best. More Mint to be Merry. And what do we go? Oh gosh, I've got a lot of bars in here. This is going to be a 40 minute video. And all of you will be like, Elizabeth, we love your long videos. And I'm just thinking, I don't know if my voice is going to last. More Frosted White Pine. Ooh, Fuzzy Blanket. Now, Fuzzy Blanket and the current Brick Forever Flannel, I'm going back and forth on which one to keep. Probably Fuzzy Blanket will win out because I'm having trouble with Forever Flannel's performance, but you know, neither here nor there. That is a sweet sandalwood and almost like a dryer sheet cuddly lavender scent for, for summer more than anything, but it's good any time of the year and I really like it and it's in my club. Happy birthday. This will stay. This is such a good funfetti sweet cake. It's like birthday cake. It's just happiness in a bar and it's good any time of the year. The next one is the Oceaner and Coconut Water and I think this one will stay in my club. This is beautiful. Oh, it's light and creamy and it's a lot like Blue Coconut Beach but take away some of the coconut heaviness that almost goes body care. This one's a little bit more outdoors, Coconut Water Fresh. It's absolutely lovely. Love that one. Okay, what else do I have in here? Because I have a lot of bars in here this time, like a lot. Whoop. And it wouldn't be an Elizabeth Quinn video unless we knock something over. More caramel praline cake. Ooh, vanilla suede. Now, all these different suede bars that I've collected this year, we've got vanilla suede, I've got saddle up in my quarterly, we've got the hometown cowboy, we've got under the oak tree. I don't know if all four of them are gonna stay for the long haul, but vanilla suede will. Because this is vanilla with the suede and a little bit of spice and it's just it's so good this and Hemingway these are old school really nice atmospheric classics mm, love that absolutely love that and it's good and strong after it sits for a couple of months and I think this is the last bar this is Tinkerbell's Peter Pan sweet and sassy I loved this this was my favorite LTO from spring summer it's got tangerine and like a really nice creamy quality and brightness from kiwi. My mom also loves this. And it just makes your house super fruity and happy. I like Dumbo too, but between the two of them, I actually prefer the Peter Pan bar. So that is everything in my bi-monthly club. And a good quarter of that is not going to be staying. And then I will have to do some editing because the bring back my bars as I began this video that are coming in January, I will get my tester kit in December and we will definitely do first sniffs and videos right around Christmas time is about when we get them, which makes it hard to film, but it's so much fun. Um, I don't know what all is going to be staying in my club, but this is a fantastic bi-monthly. When you start a Scentsy Club and then you collect and curate, I cannot tell you enough about collect and curate your wax. Whatever price point you can afford, Make sure that you're really thinking before you press that delete button or before you forget to add something. Am I going to want this in a year? Am I going to want this in five years? And why? That is how I've ended up with a really, really nice bi-monthly. And I'm also very proud of my quarterly because I've tried to save bars that I know will be valuable and difficult to get down the road. And that strategy has proved out for me. Like I have vanilla oud in my other uh, club, if you guys are wondering. And it's just... A really really fun thing to have a Scentsy Club. So this is Elizabeth Quinn with an almost 40 minute video. Y'all should be proud. Have a great day guys. God bless. Bye bye.